Hi, I'm Jeff, and welcome to another one of my videos where we take a look at all the new comic books coming out on either December 19th or 20th, 2023, and I ask myself the question, what one new comic book would I buy this week if I could buy just one book? Usually we start off these videos first by taking a look back at my pick from two weeks ago, but I didn't have a pick two weeks ago, so we're going to skip past that. I also have this dangling pick I'm supposed to talk about from like four weeks ago or a million years ago. It's somewhere in between there, uh, which is Somna, uh, issue number one. Still haven't read it, but I should be able to read it in the next week. So hopefully, maybe, I'll talk about it next week. But right now, let's go ahead and focus on the books that are coming out this upcoming week. I have a few honorable mentions and then my just one book pick for the week. My first honorable mention is a new book. It is called... The Agent, issue number one from Ablaze Publishing. This one's actually pretty interesting. It's about a woman who is a young narcotics, narcotics lieutenant. She goes to kind of like arrest these people or, you know, catch these people in the act of a crime um, and then sees that they do the impossible. Um, and it turns out that magic is a real thing in this world, but nobody knows about it. It also turns out that this lieutenant character, our main character, is also has the ability to use magic, but she doesn't quite know it yet, but I'm sure she will discover it through the course of this book. It actually sounds pretty interesting to me. I like the idea of reality as we all know it, and all of a sudden, boom, introduce magic to it, and everybody kind of has to adjust to this new reality. I think this could be entertaining. I think this could be worth checking out. That's why I've made it an honorable mention this week. My next honorable mention is another new book. It is called Borealis, issue number one from Dark Horse. This one's a little bit not as exciting to me, but I'm going to tell you about it. It's basically about a city in Alaska, very remote, very icy. There's a character that is, once again, I believe a woman, and I also believe like a cop. Uh, who's le grew up in this town but has since moved away. Well, there is uh, a series of murders that takes place in this town, and it pulls this woman back to the town to try to figure out what is happening. And it's hinted at in the description that possibly something, you know, evil or is creeping from beneath the ice. This could be creepy. This could be interesting. This is a perfect time of year for an ice-themed horror book. So if something like that maybe interests you, maybe Borealis is worth checking out. The next honorable mention I have for you is another new book. It is Star Wars Revelations, issue number one from Marvel Comics. The interesting part about this is what I'll read to you right here. It says, introducing new characters new twists, and new turns across all of Marvel's Star Wars line. This star-studded issue puts the pieces on the board for what's to come in a galaxy far, far away. So as a reader, I'm not necessarily so interested in this because it sounds like it's going to tee up a lot of different storylines that are taking place in the Star Wars universe. And although I enjoy reading the main Star Wars comic that's coming out right now, I really don't need teasers or little kind of tidbits that are going to tee up what's to come. I'll just read the book and I'll be plenty happy. However, I've said it before, but I haven't said it in a long while, so it bears repeating. This book is worth checking out because of Star Wars first appearances, and it appears that this will have those. Uh, I fully expect that we will see a lot more Star Wars television shows and movies in the decades to come. So who knows if, uh, you know, these characters have to come from someplace and they could very well come from comic books and they could very well come from this comic book. So if you're a big Star Wars fan um, and you want to know what's coming up in the world of Star Wars comics, you might want to check this out. Uh, also, if you just want to speculate on Star Wars first appearances, that might be another reason to pick this one up. My last honorable mention for you today is also the one book that I am pulling this week. And that book is... The Deviant, issue number two of a nine-issue limited series from Image Comics. As you all know from when I chose The Deviant, issue number one, to be my just one book pick of the week about a month ago, uh, this is by my guy, James Tynan IV. 
And even though I go into each one of his new titles with a fresh set of eyes, and I, I'm like, well, let's see, if can he do it again? Well, as far as I'm concerned with issue number one, he did it again. This is a pretty straightforward um, horror story about a serial killer. Often James Tynan IV introduces a bit of the mystical or fantastical or, you know, um, whatever, magical, uh, into his books. Uh, this one is just straightforward reality. Uh, although there's a bit of a question about how these murders have been taking places in, in two different time periods. I'm sure we'll get more information about that. But issue number one was definitely compelling, definitely an entertaining read for me. Therefore, I will be picking up issues number two through nine, and you're going to get to hear about them every month, because, like I said, I'm pulling issue number two, and I will pull the entire series. That brings us to the one book that I would buy this week if I could buy just one book. And my just one book pick of the week is Animal Pound, issue number one of a four-issue limited series from Boom Studios. Here's the description. When animals grow tired of being caged, killed, and sold off, it's only a matter of time before they've had enough. When an uprising puts a pound in control of the animals, uh, they find themselves as comrades united against everything that walks on two legs. So basically the animals have taken over the pound. With this newfound power comes a sudden challenge. How best to lay the groundwork for this new democracy as they write their first constitution? Discover an epic graphic storytelling event from celebrated New York Times bestselling Eisner Award winning writer Tom King and New York Times bestselling Eisner Award nominated artist Peter Gross. King and Gross collaborate for the first time ever to bring this enduring Orwellian allegory to life for the 21st century. So, telling stories about animals, kind of like dealing with things the way that humans would deal with things, but in the animal reality side of things, is um, not a new thing. I, I, I think it, it's called Animal Farm that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. Well, this is Animal Pound. Very similar. So, this is not a, a brand new approach to storytelling. But... A pound is a pretty dramatic place, I'm sure, for animals. Um, by the way, uh, um, rescue animals, don't buy them from breeders. Okay, little side note there. Um, because we need to get them out of these pounds. But these animals rescued themselves in this instance and have taken over the pound. Now they have to find an equilibrium. That could make for a really interesting story. And part of what really drives me into being interested in this book this week and making it my just one book pick, and by the way, I didn't know about this book until I started researching for this video. And after researching, I was like, you know what? I'm pulling one book this week. I think I'm gonna check out this Animal Pound book. But anyways, part of what really drove me to uh, into my interest of wanting to check it out is Tom King. Tom King is a very good writer, very accomplished writer. Um, and so because I know this story is going to be in the hands of a very talented individual, it makes me much more inclined to check it out. So because I'm curious about the story, uh, I'm going to check it out because it's only a four-part series. So if I do like issue number one, it's not much of a commitment to then buy issues number two, three, and four. So that's appealing to me as well. But then once again, interesting story, limited series, Tom King. Um, these are all intriguing enough to me on a light week where I'm only pulling one book and there aren't many books that are worth talking about as far as I'm concerned. These are all the reasons why I have gone ahead and decided to make Animal Pound, issue number one, my just one book pick for this week. All right, uh, I think this was a fairly short and sweet video. Hopefully it was also informative and maybe a little bit entertaining as well. If it's any of those things, uh, please hit that like button. Likes are very much appreciated by me. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would invite you to go ahead, go ahead, do so right now, Make sure you hit that notification bell. Thank you all so much for watching this video.
I'll see you in the next one.